Hello and welcome to this video on some facts about geyser. A geyser is a natural phenomenon that occurs when hot water and steam erupt from the ground. It is a rare and fascinating sight to behold, with many geysers being found in locations around the world, including Yellowstone National Park in the United States, El Tatio in Chile, and the North Island of New Zealand. The word, geyser, comes from the Icelandic word, geyser, which means, to gush. Geysers are formed in areas where there is volcanic activity and magma is close to the Earth's surface. As water seeps into the ground, it is heated by the magma, causing it to boil and turn into steam. This steam builds up pressure, and eventually, it forces its way out of the ground, creating a geyser. The height of a geyser's eruption can vary from a few feet to several hundred feet. The frequency of eruptions can also vary from daily to once every few years. Some geysers are predictable, and their eruptions can be timed with some accuracy, while others are more erratic and unpredictable. Geysers can be categorized into two main types, fountain geysers and cone geysers. Fountain geysers, such as Old Faithful and Yellowstone National Park, erupt in a vertical column of water and steam. Cone geysers, on the other hand, erupt through a narrow vent and often form a cone-shaped mound around the vent. Geysers have been a source of wonder and fascination for centuries. The first recorded geyser sighting was by the explorer and writer Marco Polo, who observed geysers in Iceland in the 13th century. Today, geysers continue to attract millions of visitors to their natural wonders every year. Geysers play an important role in geothermal energy production. The steam and hot water that erupt from geysers can be harnessed and used to generate electricity. In some countries, such as Iceland, Geothermal energy is a major source of electricity, with around 25% of Iceland's electricity coming from geothermal sources. However, geysers are fragile natural systems and can be easily damaged or destroyed. Human activities, such as drilling and construction, can disrupt the underground channels that feed geysers, causing them to stop erupting or even disappear altogether. Climate change can also have an impact on geysers, with changes in rainfall patterns and temperatures affecting the water levels and underground channels that feed geysers. Frequently asked questions. What is a geyser? A geyser is a natural phenomenon where hot water and steam erupt from the ground. How are geysers formed? Geysers are formed when water seeps into the ground and is heated by magma, causing it to boil and turn into steam. The steam builds up pressure, eventually forcing its way out of the ground. Where can geysers be found? Geysers are found in areas with volcanic activity and can be found in locations around the world, including Yellowstone National Park in the United States, El Tatio in Chile, and the North Island of New Zealand. What is the height of a geyser's eruption? The height of a geyser's eruption can vary from a few feet to several hundred feet. Can geysers be predicted? Some geysers are predictable, and their eruptions can be timed with some accuracy, while others are more erratic and unpredictable. How often do geysers erupt? The frequency of eruptions can vary from daily to once every few years, depending on the geyser. What are the different types of geysers? Geysers can be categorized into two main types, fountain geysers and cone geysers. How do geysers contribute to geothermal energy production? The steam and hot water that erupt from geysers can be harnessed and used to generate electricity. In some countries, such as Iceland, geothermal energy is a major source of electricity. Can human activity affect geysers? Yes, human activities such as drilling and construction can disrupt the underground channels that feed geysers, causing them to stop erupting or even disappear altogether. How does climate change affect geysers? Climate change can have an impact on geysers, with changes in rainfall patterns and temperatures affecting the water levels and underground channels that feed geysers. Like the video and remember to subscribe to our channel.